Hi, Sam. Nice to see you. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Good. Good. Hi, Lydia. Hey. Glad you're here. Thank you. So, Sam, the purpose of our visit today is to go over some of the test results from the memory workup that we did a few weeks ago. So, a while ago, you came into the clinic because you and your family were a little bit concerned about how you had been doing recently in, in terms of your memory. And so, we wanted to figure out and get to the bottom of things. And so, we ordered a number of different tests. So, today, the goal is to tell you about the test results, answer questions that you have, and talk about what happens next. Sound like a good plan? Good. Okay. So, one of the first things that we did was we ordered some labs. We, we had you uh, give us some blood so that we could look at that. And the purpose of the lab tests was to make sure that you didn't have any vitamin deficiencies or other problems that could explain some of the memory difficulties that you had. But your labs came back completely normal. No problems there. Okay. The next thing that we did is we took some pictures of your brain. We did some neuroimaging. You remember doing that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the big machine. And so we got a lot of pictures of the tissue in your brain. And the purpose of that is to make sure that you didn't have any strokes or other problems that could be the reason for why you've been uh, having a little bit of difficulty with forgetfulness. But the brain scan was also essentially normal. There was a little bit of shrinkage but not, not much more than would be expected for somebody of your age, okay? And we didn't see any strokes or any other obvious problems there, okay? So lab tests were normal. The brain scan was essentially normal. The other thing we did was we did some memory testing with you. So do you remember when you were here last, you were working with the nurse for a little while. She was asking you some questions about your memory, asking you to remember things, draw some things. And on that, that test, you struggled a little bit. And so, you know, our testing was consistent with your own observation that indeed you're experiencing more memory problems than what we'd like to see, more memory problems than what would be considered normal or healthy for somebody of your age. And then between now and, and then and now, I also spent a lot, of, a lot of time looking through your medical record your medications, trying to look at other things that we could use to explain some of the memory problems. What we do in the end is take a look at everything in aggregate and it, uh, the end result is that uh, your memory loss looks to be explained by Alzheimer's disease. Okay? So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what that means and what we're going to do about it. But before I do that, I want to check in with you and find out what your, what your thought is and if you have any questions about that. Well, my thought is that as you go along, can you let me know what is going on and what can I do about it on an ongoing basis? Right. Uh, but more than anything, I want to know what's going on. I, keep, I want to keep current with what it's coming up. So you're a proactive guy, which is why you came to see us to begin with, because you noticed some memory difficulties, which was a good thing. I'm glad that you did that, because now that we know what it is, we know what we're, we're dealing with, and we can give you a lot of strategies for living well, okay? So um, we're also going to take a proactive approach, and I'd like to see you at least every six months so that we can keep tabs on you. We can talk and see how you're doing and do some uh, smaller tests along the way to keep track of, of your condition, okay? So we're going to be proactive, we're going to stay ahead of the curve, and we're going to be talking as we go along about different strategies to keep you well, okay? Lydia, what about you? Any thoughts, reactions, or questions? How long does it take? for you to go from the beginning phases to, you know, really bad condition where you need to be put away. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I know this is 
It's a hard conversation to have. This is not what you wanted to hear coming in. The word in. is so scary. Mm -hmm. it, 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 it's a bad word. Right. Yeah, the A word, as we call it, Alzheimer's, it is really scary. Um, you know, in the last couple of years, researchers found something interesting, which helps to answer your question, which is that by the time somebody starts showing signs or symptoms of memory loss, the Alzheimer's disease pathology has been moving around the brain often for more than a decade. So this tells us that this is a pretty slow moving condition. It takes a decade or more of problems in the brain be before most people start to show signs and symptoms. So as best we know today, the progression continues at that slow rate. So if you, if you asked me, you know, Sam, am I gonna notice big changes a year from now? The answer is that for most people, probably not. Or if you do, the changes will be pretty minimal. And we're gonna talk about all kinds of strategies to make sure that you're doing well. Now, there is no cure <coughs> for Alzheimer's, um, but there are a lot of things that we can do. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna, like I said, be proactive with you. A lot of people ask about medication treatment. Is there any medication that we can take to um, help the condition? And there, there is some medication, and today we're gonna talk about the pros and cons of, of those treatments and whether you'd be a good candidate and whether you're interested in doing that or not. Okay. I, I don't know. I, uh, I wait. How about you for your progressive checks? Yeah, yeah. So we'll talk about that a little bit today. Mm -hmm. The other thing that I want to make sure that you know about is that in addition to medication, uh, there's a lot of other things that you should be doing, Sam, to make sure that your brain is functioning at an optimal level. Okay? And so we're going to talk about some of the wellness strategies. Um, there's been a lot of research done on things like exercise keeping socially active, keeping mentally active. And so I'm gonna give you some resources today so that you know exactly what you need to do um, from this point forward. And we'll check in about that as we go along, okay? A lot of people also, uh, because this uh, diagnosis can be a little bit overwhelming, you know, you may have questions that pop up in your mind a couple days from now, a couple weeks from now, or down the road. And I want to make sure that in addition to being able to call me, you have people that you can count on to, to help you through that process. And so the other thing we're going to do is I'm going to connect you with our social worker from the Alzheimer's Association, who's an expert in memory difficulties and has a lot of information about community re uh, uh, resources and support. And Lydia, some of those things focus on you as the care partner. The, the person who's helping to support Sam. So we're gonna make sure that you're well taken care of and have the information that you need, okay? Sam, um, let's get started and talk about the plan, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> 